Yeah, yeah, I've been doing and then it's not going to... Stop him from leaning back on it under there. Well... This is Erringfleet. No, oh, all right, no access. There is a path there, but I don't know where it goes. So if you want to go to the village, you have to go to the Somalator moorings. I've never moored here before. Mm, a bit breezy today, a bit non-drone day. I was going to have a quick flyer in there, but might give it a miss. So yeah, there's a path up here. See, th these houses up in the hills up there. You don't see them when you're heading down towards Beckles that way, but when you're coming back up, you see them. They must have absolutely been what it was. Yeah, so I'm just going for a quick walk. It will be a quick one this morning, because I don't think you can get very far. So we didn't stay at St Olives because, look at that. You heard that on the camera, but I can see something in there. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a swan. It's sounding more like a pig. I ain't gonna try and get in there because I think it's just all wet. Well, it is. I think it's a swan. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, a bit tricky mooring up there at St Olives yesterday because we were trying to do stern on. But before they'd have known it, we were under the bridge. Almost side on mooring under the bridge. So. Yeah. So we ended up side on. Because there's only one other boat there. And we was going to stay there, but then I was sat in the beer garden having a lovely pint of Doom Bar. And well, the noise from the bridge, it's a very busy road. So I said, well, let's go down to Erringfleet. I didn't know him there, we've got some later. Anyway, as it happens at Erringfleet, as you've seen, there's only one other boat there. Very quiet mooring. I've never moored there before. Um, I think it's because there's no access to anywhere. Because you know I like my walks. But, um, we're going to go to Loddon and go for a walk when we get there. Um, three pubs there, uh, Loddon and Chedgrave. I was trying to be good yesterday, ended up not very good. Fly. Yeah, so there's a notice here, you're probably telling people you, you can't go past this bit because it's private. What's that? Hmm, what's that bird with that? Oh, missed that. It was a big thing, it wasn't a heron, but it weren't a marsh area. Couldn't see because there's someone in my eyes. Private no access, somewhere out in the States. See? So I'm not going farther. It's in that tree somewhere, I can't see it though. So time now. Oh, I'll have to get a little thing put on this watch. 25 to 9. 25 to 9. Um, well we might as well get going now, won't we? Get going, get up to London. It's, it's about two and a quarter hours from here. Um, get there for lunch time. I think we'll probably be staying there all day actually. So we can, there is a park, I think, down near the White Horse for Eliza. Um, pool table in the King's Head for me and Sam. 
So you George and Brad are about. And I might be getting a visit from David, who lived in Loddon and has now moved up our end of the world. He's visiting his sister in Beckles today and he said he might call up and see if he can find us at the stave. So you are probably better off trying the pubs or the park. But if he gives me a message, I'll let him know where we are. Um, by the time you've seen this, that'll have already happened or not, as the case may be. Yeah, so if you're coming down south, it is a lot more peaceful because it was quite busy up north, but you have the tide to contend with. Unless you're getting up to places like Rockland and Loddon, the tide can be fairly fierce. Read them. The guy there will help you to tie up, do with spring lines and stuff. Places like St Olives and here at Erring Fleet, you're on your own and there is a rise and fall quite a lot. And when that tide starts ebbing and, fl and flooding, it's coming in quick, quick, going out quick. So you have to be careful. Uh, anyway, I'll. Uh, I'll let you know what's happening when it happens. So we'll be ending up the new shot really shortly. Well, there was a chap there in the boat, I think he was on his own, I'm not too sure. At uh, Erring Fleet. And at Erring Fleet you can't get anywhere, basically. And he said his battery was flat. Where, which, which direction are you going? He said up to London. He went, alright, I'll sort something out. I think he was thinking if we were going down towards Simulator maybe, or Ulton Broad or wherever, that we could have given him a tour. Um, so I think he's going to have to call somebody out to come and get him going again because you can't jump start boats can you? Oh the temperature, I'm not too sure about the temperature but it feels very warm in that sun and it's only quarter to nine. As they say the sun shines on the right shits, uh, righteous. Now then, we're going down the Chet, and when was it Russell was down there? In March I think, was it? And I one of these things, well it wouldn't be that big because that was too big to get down I think. It was blocking his way, I've not actually seen his video yet that one. Yeah so, You've got the White Horse, which is lovely pub. The Swan's lovely pub. King's Head, I like the King's Head, it's okay. Pool table. Dart board, but they've got a table right under the dart board now, so you can't actually play darts, I don't think, unless somebody moves the table. Um, and I'm sure there's a little park. I seem to recall when I went on one of my walks, when I was trying to find that path. Um, there was some dance troupe practicing in a little park thing and I, I seem to recall there might be a play area there but I might be wrong we will see anyway Easter Bunny's been so it's, she's had her it's, it's, she's had her day hasn't she so it's not all about her hmm yeah right, right anyway as you can see we're on the new cut I think there's a boat coming down or it's going up and it's going to be a sun cream day again today burnt my face the other day so I couldn't tell whether it was uh, sunburn or blood pressure I'll have to do a reading in a minute before my breakfast this time right, we'll crack on
Right, we're almost at the end of the new cut, or the start of the new cut. Which is it? Which bit did they do first? Um, and Reedham, straight ahead. So from Reedham, we're about an hour away. Now I've just been doing a little calculation. Because we're going to get to Loddon, half ten-ish, quarter to eleven. So, I don't mind staying there, I can always find something to do at Loddon, as you've probably seen before in the videos. But I had a radical thought of going up to Rockland St Mary. Now, strangely enough, it's two and a quarter hours from Loddon to Rockland. Tomorrow we're going to Beckles. So from Loddon to Beckles is four and three quarter hours. From Rockland to Beckles is five and a half hours. So there's only a 45 minute difference because you're not going up the chat, are you? You've already done that. So I'll put it to the crew members. I don't think there's, well, there's the new inn, isn't there? But I don't think there's anything there for the kids. I can't remember there being a little play area there. Mm, there might be, but anyway. Yes, yeah, so we will see what happens. Well, I'm having to steer and video. It's not good. Um, the multitasking skills are not very good. I might have mentioned that once or twice before. So anyway, as you can see, there's Reedham Rail Bridge in front of us. What is it you want? Well, I'll come back to you in a minute. Oh, it's alright. I'll tell you after. It's alright. It's nothing important. It's just a cunning plan. What? It's just a cunning plan. I'll tell you in a bit. Well, well actually, I'll know, well, I've got the camera on. If you don't mind oh. listening to a conversation. I was thinking, Loddon to Beckles is four and three quarter hours. Mm. Loddon to Rockland St Mary is two and a quarter hours. But Rockland St Mary to Beckles is five and a half hours. So it's only 45 minutes longer. I was thinking if we went down to Loddon and we didn't want to stay for the day, we could have a cruise up to Rockland. But I can't think if there's anything like a park there, is there, for the kids to play or anything? Um, At Rockland, there's only the pub, isn't there? And I don't just go to places for the pubs, as everybody knows. So, anyway, it's just a thought, looking... Well, we'll see how it goes here. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie, that's what we'll do. So... As I was saying before I was so nicely interrupted. Um, Reedham Bridge. What speed am I doing? Oh, come in, eight, seven miles an hour, what's going on? We are going with the tide, but even so, you don't want to be whizzing through Reedham at seven miles an hour. Because I remember See, it sticks in your mind, things like that. Only when we're coming down with Alpha, on Alpha Vulcan. Alpha Vulcan, you've lost, you've lost your water skier. This guy shouted on his ailer. The key attendant, whatever he was called, Arbor Master. Oh, we're only doing 3.8 now, what's going on? Oh no, third point. Mm. So now this is another place where, <coughs> excuse me. This is another place where the tide can catch you out if you're not careful. It runs through fast here. But you've got the ship as we've just gone past. Where are we? Yeah, the ship in. Just there. That's the nice pub. And then you've got the Lord Nelson just up here. And the reason I couldn't find the chip is because it's up one of the side street. Uh, not, not right down the bottom where we were going. Me. 
Okay, so I think we're coming here on Tuesday. I think that's the plan. To get across Braden for an early start. I think it's um, 8 o'clock slight water on Wednesday morning. Well that sun is uh, nice and warm now and it's only half nine-ish. I think Sanderson Marine has completely gone now by the looks of it it's deserted There's still those pipes hanging over. More rings reserved, well they haven't got any boats now, have they? Yeah, and I'm not too sure whether it's completely completely closed down or not. A couple of Sanderson boats here, Sandpiper, Sandstorm. But they don't hire out, I don't think, anymore. Sand Swift. Right, the next point of interest will be uh, Breedham Ferry. What? Where are the old windmills? They're not windmills, the drainage mills. Um, mm. uh, yeah, they're windmills, yeah. Oh. But they haven't got the sails on them. Mm. Uh, she won't understand that. They haven't got those. Mm -hmm. She's gone. Don't matter. <laughs> Here we are, Reed and Furry. And there's a car on it, so it's about to go across, I think. If you've seen my videos before, you don't need to know about this chain. But if you haven't, there's a chain. It runs on the chain, this ferry. Oh, the car's getting off, so we'll be alright. It won't be loaded up by the time we get there. So, if the ferry's going across the river, make sure it's docked at either side because that chain will be tight as it's going behind it and you don't want to get it caught under your boat do you Distance of uh, just about so you can should the factory in the distance over there, which will be straight ahead of us in a bit when we go around the bend. Yeah, it's a lovely washing day, a nice bit of a breeze and sun. Dry your towels. So, 
I think the next bit will be the Beauchamp Arms, but I won't be able to tell if it's open or not because it's too early. So, we will see what we might get there. I'm getting carried away with myself then, weren't I? Beauchamp Palms is only if we're going to Rockland. But we're not. We're going down the chat. Memory car running out there. Yeah, so the next um, bit will be turning down the chat, won't it? Beauchamp Palms is way past that. Way past Cantley Sugar Factory even. And just before you turn down to Rockland. Hmm. So maybe we'll see if it's open or and maybe not. Alright, so it's 52 minutes left. Right, so here we are. The chat. narrow meandering river oh uh oh are you coming past or are you going down coming past Is about a little bit that. Yeah, right. That's uh, that's rocking us about about too much, really. Yeah, that was a bit tricky. It was coming down into the chat with that thing racing down the river. Causing tidal waves. Right, I'm going to have to put the camera down. It's one thing on the big river year, but going down here, filming and steering, I'm still rocking with those mean waves. Hmm. Right, so it's a lot narrower than it was a few years ago when they'd cut all this back and then re reseeded it all so it's back down to being a a narrow river which can be fun sometimes when there's boats coming the other way we will see if that happens You will forgive me if I throw the camera down if a boat comes the other way because I'll need both hands. You want another brew? Uh, yeah, I'll have another coffee please. I don't like the tea that water for some reason. I'm, uh... <coughs> yeah, for some reason, there must be the water down here. The tea, it's the same tea bags that we have at home, Yorkshire tea. Um, it just doesn't taste right. Yeah, so if I have to just drop the camera, or well, gently place it down, you'll have to forgive me for that. Well, you won't even know because I'll cut it out. Well, this is the time when, well, it's not 10 to 10, so... Cowboys. This is when some boats may be leaving the stair for the next day's cruising. Mm. 
the horse's beard's grown. Even its name, look. There was an owl on there one year, on that post up there, when we came past. They always do one as soon as they see camera on. Hey, hey up. Uh. <coughs> oh. Morning. Nice one. Pardon? Nice and relaxing in the back there, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's a lovely day for it, that's the feeling. Yeah, I'm not turning the camera off because as soon as I turn the camera off, it'll fly right in front of you. I know it will. There we go. You can only get a bit closer. We'll get. Putting on the show for us now.
We're almost at Pies Mill. There's usually space here if you can't get in at the stairs. Retribution. Lower stuff. Oops, Sam, um... Can we squeeze past them at the same time? Probably not. I'd wait here if I were. Just reverse it up. Oh, you might get through there. We're going for it? Yeah, you might do. Just take it slowly. Put both thrusters on just in case we need them. Yeah, take it nice and slow. You should do that. <coughs> Looks like I was there for them. Weird. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. We've passed three bolts going that way, oh, so hopefully there'll be at least one spot. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek with pram to the from here. Looks like a summer's day, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. See the barbecue stations there for putting disposable barbecues on so you don't burn this grass. Yeah. So we'll get the stairs. Right, I'm at the elm again and filming, so I won't be doing the mooring up. Well, there's a boat just come out, so it looks pretty full from here, but a boat's just come out, and there was a couple went up before. Obviously, the two before could have come from Pies Mill, but this one came from here, so there's got to be space. We're hoping to get electric hook up here, though. Uh, I think Christine wants to use the air dryer or whatever. Put the camera away now so I can concentrate. I need two hands for this job. Well, I thought of cutting some of this out. The 
journey down to make the video shorter. I've still got quite a lot of footage from the afternoon when we was um, going for a walk and the beer gardens and so on. So if I added that to this, it'd probably be over an hour. So we'll leave it here, part one, down at Loddon. I hope you've enjoyed the trip down. I didn't cut the... That is all the footage I've got, basically. I didn't cut any of the river footage out because I just enjoyed watching it again. I hope you do. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. It does mean a lot to the channel. And give us a like and a comment. And we'll see you in the next one where we go for a walk. Kids have a play and the adults have a play.